Fool's checkmate, or fool's mate. And this is because it is only played by, well, idiots is a bit unkind, I suppose. People who don't know any better. And this checkmate happens in two moves. It's the quickest way to get checkmate. And believe it or not, even though white goes first, it's black that wins. Okay? You can get finish a game in two moves by white and two by black. It's the quickest possible checkmate. But it relies on white being a fool or an idiot. Okay? Or doesn't know why really what they're doing. Because when you're trying to get to a good start, three golden rules. Try and control the center by top of the hill, remember that. Get your pieces out, and by pieces, I mean particularly the knights and the bishops. Hard to get the rook, sorry? Yeah, exactly, well, and that's number three. Keeping the king safe. That's my th the third goal, keep the king safe. Often involves castling. Yeah, behind a nice wall of pawns. Yeah, nice defensive position. But the first move um, by white is to move one of these two pawns up. They can do it in either order, okay? I cannot recommend moving either of these pawns. I have done that one myself. I've never done this. Mind you, there is one person at Camberley Chess Club who always do, does this. And he gets some interesting games, but he never, I've never seen him following by the second move. So I'm just going to move this pawn up one for the time being. And then this is the bad move. Well, either of these, yeah, you can maybe just about get away with, but both is really, really bad because black now can give a check. Can you see how black might give a check? What do you think? Queen H4 check. Very good. Queen H4 check. Three ways out of a check. Let's try all them. Taking the queen. Uh, no. Uh, one, two, one, two. No. Uh, no. Oops, I can't take the queen. That's a bit of a blow. Oh, wouldn't it be good if you could move a pawn up two and jump on top? Yeah, yeah you only take that, guy. So, it certainly can't take the queen. What about blocking it? That's a good way out. Knight, one, two, one to the side, no. Bishop, no, so can't block it. What about moving the king? Can we move the king? No. Yes, you can. You can move it, but it's no good. Okay, it's doing check. Okay, so you can move the king, doesn't do any good. And that turns out to be, believe it or not, check in just two moves. Um, I, I have seen it in junior games. I've seen people move this up one, so it's checkmate. And I believe there was a game played in 1933, okay, in the Southampton League, but to protect the name of the offender <laughs> and not embarrassing, the opening went pawn here, pawn here, and they played this move. Now, yeah, does that do anything about this controlling the centre? No. Does it do anything about getting your pieces out? No. Does it help keep your king any safer? No. So it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't fulfill any one of the three golden rules. And now, black went here. Check. It's not checkmate. Why? Okay. I can block it. But unfortunately, after queen takes the pawn, yeah, and now it's checkmate. Okay. So what we can learn from this is, if you are, okay, yeah, if you move these pawns up on this side, conversely, if black moves these two up, yeah, you could be in a lot of trouble. Don't go moving this um, pawn on the F file, and not so much, certainly not to the G one. Right. I think we've probably got another round coming up in a, in a minute. I hope that was. I do not want to see anyone falling through for the four move checkmate. 